Now we can get inside easy. In spite of this being... looking like it's gonna be, uh... the entrance being underwater and everything... There, I don't think there's much of this place that's actually underwater. Okay, compass. Good. It keeps telling me this stuff, too, as if I don't know it anymore. I mean, it's the fifth compass I got, or at least could have potentially have gotten. Shouldn't we know this stuff already? Now we've got these seesaw, uh, things. Just wait about a half second and they should be at the exact, uh place we want them to be at. I didn't finish the job, though. I need to push these, uh, blocks into a square, I believe. That does it. Alright, we have a key. And an empty room with a skull design on the floor. That will be important later. Alright. Now we need to kill these things that I've had so much trouble killing before. But for the most part, it's just waiting for the right opportunity. There we go. that. Ooh, that kind of surprised me. If I can get one good hit on them, then the other one shouldn't be that much harder. What's in this room? Well, can get some more bombs. But, uh, you know what? I don't really need bombs right now, so we're just gonna leave that alone. There I could get some arrows, except I don't have the bow and arrow yet. Or there I could get a piece of power, which is just about always useful. That was a tough one. Oh, that's, uh, not gonna work. Make it across this then? Okay, well we used up the potion, but that shouldn't be a, too much of a problem. So you know what, let's go the other way instead. Get my heart back. I don't think I can do anything else in this room. Oh, we've seen this before. Alright, now we have the actual skull thing. Strategy here is to hit him, and then put a bomb right next to him. This is a boss that was seen previously in uh, Link to the Past, just as a regular enemy. First appearing in, I believe, the ice, uh, the ice uh, cavern. Alright, he's gonna retreat, and he's gonna end up again in a room with a similar design, but not the one we saw earlier. I believe that's actually the last one. And unfortunately, he already took the item that's, you know, the obligatory temple item. So, uh, we'll need to come back later for that. Now, what's down here? Anything we can use? You know, actually, I'd rather see what's over this way first. Looks like I'm going to need to explore each of these rooms. And then come back to that room again to uh, see what's there. Now, there's actually something in the center of this room. It's bloopers! I can't use the Pegasus boots underground. Or underwater. It'd be cool if I could, just because I, I don't swim that fast at all. Well, 
good to know that that's there, but I'm still missing the item needed to actually get it. So that doesn't help me at all. This room is going to have much for me either, besides picking up a few items. So I guess we're going back to that uh, central room with the block in the middle, and I can only go a couple different ways. Alright, Pegasus boots. Here we go. That's the button for that door there, but I won't be able to reach it yet. some extremely careful jumping skills. I can't reach that chest right there. I pretty much need to uh, jump as soon as the Pegasus boots activate. That one's too far, though. I think the uh, limit is uh, three blocks distance. And yeah, there wouldn't be anything that way either, then. What about further up here? That's why the uh, room I was in on the other side was helpful, because I needed to kill all the enemies, and some of them spawned on the other side of the room. Or I could have just pushed them on the blocks. Well, it looks like somewhere I would need, need to go later. First, I need to uh, find the second room that he's in, and I think there's four total. So. Alright, stone plate. Not a bad find. Let's restore our life here, too. I have no question in my mind that we're eventually going to reach uh, 980, probably max it out to 999 before this uh, dungeon is over. Oh, here's the room we were looking for. of power this way. I don't think this is actually going to be that much of an advantage. I mean, I run a little bit faster, but I'm not going to be dealing extra damage because it's the bombs that actually... Oh, wait, no, I'm wrong. Unless he takes less hits this time. My logic there was that it was the bombs that were dealing damage, not the sword. So, unless the piece of power actually extends to every attack and not just the sword... this guy again. Just like I figured we would. Yes, I do know that. Okay. Is that gonna finish the job here? It is. Yeah, I wish I could hit him again and just end this. Now I think he actually ends up near the beginning. Getting anywhere being where we are right now, are we? How about we make this a little bit easier on us? Teleport! Alright, now we're back here. enemies here first, and then we'll, uh, be able to get in. There we go. I didn't jump. I was not on there for long enough. There we go. 
This is about as advanced as the platforming gets in this game, I think. Alright, here we go. Get the bombs out. Same thing as usual. And it looks like actually trapping against this left wall is an easier way to do this. Just because he's holding his shield against it, so I have an easier way to hit him. Alright, we finally got him. And he drops the hook shot. Very familiar item to uh, longtime Zelda fans. I can use this to grab onto items. Or not just not just items, but certain uh, fixtures within the dungeon too. And this hook shot actually goes almost the entire distance of the screen. Longer than most of them do, at least within the two-dimensional games. It also makes me makes defeating these enemies faster. And not just because it was just hitting them straight easily there, but it can actually grab their armor off them, which makes it even easier to hit. You can also grab onto this treasure chest, claim this box for 200 rupees. That's going to put us well over the limit we wanted. So... In fact, I'm thinking the bow and arrow is actually going to be so helpful that I'm going to leave this place entirely, specifically to get it. See you at the village! Or actually, better idea, before we go to the village, let's go back to Crazy Tracy's here and get another potion again. Oh, wait, then I'm not going to have enough rupees, though. Actually, with this much... That doesn't put... The, the number we need to gain from that is so small that we should be able to get it back easily. So now I just need 23 rupees. It should not be hard to get. There's a few areas around here that I needed the hookshot for, too, so let's get them while we're at it. Alright, there's another. Alright, now... Blow that up, and then we use the hook shot to get across. We have another piece of heart. We now have half the uh, hearts, heart pieces in the game. There are exactly 12 total. We, uh, we just collected our sixth. These ghosts take a lot of hits. Generally not worth the effort to kill them. Right now, I just want to get the rupees I need. Maybe getting the uh, medicine was not the best idea after all. There we go. That's enough. Bow and arrow set. 980 rupees. Now, there's actually a cheap trick I could use here, too, to uh, just quit the game immediately, and then I would, uh, whatever of the rupees were stopped at when I quit would be what I would have again when I restarted the uh, save file. So if I do that immediately, then I've spent only a fraction of the 980 rupees that I needed. Generally speaking, I try to avoid glitches anyway, unless I'm trying to turn this into a serious speed, which I can tell already that this is not going to uh, be. I mostly blame that first boss. Yeah, I'm not going to get over that for a while, alright? 